This is question three in part A. It says given that three to x is equal to nine to the y minus one, show that x is equal to two y minus two. The question carries two marks. For this particular question, we're gonna use rules of indices. A to the power of m raised to the power of n is equal to a to the power of m multiplied by n. The first thing that I'm going to do is rewrite nine as a power of three. So on the left hand side, we'll have three to the power of x will be equal to three squared to the power of y minus one. So using the property here, we can write now on the left hand side, three to the power of x will be equal to three to the two y minus two. We have the same base, the base is three, so we can equate the powers. Therefore, what we can say then is x will be equal to two y minus two as required. And that gives us now two marks. In part b, we're asked to solve the simultaneous equations. x equals 2y minus 2, and x squared is equal to y squared plus 7. The question carries six marks. I'm going to rewrite the equations. I'm going to call the top one, number 1, and the bottom one, number 2. So x is equal to 2y minus 2. Lots of different choices here. I'm simply going to substitute now in 2y minus 2 every time I see an x in equation 2. So that gives me now equation 2 is 2y minus 2, which we need to square, and that will be equal to y squared plus 7. This is going to give me a quadratic equation in y as I've eliminated x. So expanding the bracket in equation 2, we'll have 4y squared minus 4y minus 4y, which is minus 8y, plus 4 will be equal to y squared plus 7. If we subtract y squared from both sides and subtract 7 from both sides, we'll have 3y squared minus 8y minus 3 is equal to 0. We can factor this quadratic. We're going to have 3y plus 1 multiplied by y minus 3 is equal to 0. That gives me now that y would be equal to minus 1 third or we'd have y equal to 3. We now need to solve for x, and I'm going to put those back into equation 1. So, equation 1, we'll start off now with minus 1 third. x will be equal to 2 lots of y, which is minus 1 third, and then we'll have now minus 2. So this will give me minus 2 thirds, minus now 2, that's 6 thirds, so we can say that x will be equal to minus 8 thirds. If we now consider when y is equal to 3, x will be equal to 2 lots of y, which is 3, and then we're going to have minus 2. So we can see from here that x will be equal to 4. So here are our solutions. We've got now y is minus 1 third, and we've got y is equal to 3. We've got x is equal to minus 8 thirds, and we've got x is equal to 4. Lots of different approaches to this particular equation in terms of which you sub in, but at the end of the day, these are the solutions that you should have.